Hey everyone, so in this episode I'd like to talk about lifecycle hooks. And basically a, a lifecycle hook is all it is, is when something happens to a component or a, your view instance, uh, uh, a method is called, and we can tap into these events that are happening. So let's take a few, look at a few. Let's go ahead and type create it here. And let's just console log main create it. Let's copy this, and instead of create it, let's type mounted, and main mounted. Now I'll leave a, a diagram for it with the, in the description with all the explanations for all of these, but basically that's if you want to go deeper, because I don't think you need to understand more than that this method is run when something happens. Okay, so Let's go ahead and refresh our page. And there we can see this console logging. So when the main is created and then when the main is mounted, what they mean, you can look it up, but because there are a few of them and really the view documentation already explains it quite well. Now, another thing I would really, what I really want to do is show how it works with components because it's really going to help when we go work with components in the future episodes. So after our props, let's do the same, uh, like lifecycle hooks in our components, but here I want to specify before destroy and component destroyed. And here I want to say component created. Okay, so let's refresh this, and you can see that we first we create the main, and then three of our components are created. And then the main is mounted. So mounted basically means that it's uh, it mounted to the DOM. So in here, let's bind a VF statement to the paragraph that wraps our components. So what we're going to do is we're going to destroy and create our components on the fly. And we're going to do this with VF. So we're going to do VF show. And here we are, where we have toggle, let's remove this uh, user assignment. And let's do the same what we did before with show equals not show and let's toggle our components and you can see that we get this console logging that the com components are destroyed and created and this is quite a big functionality how to use this i will uh, again i'll go in depth later on in the future but basically the main point that i want to make is that vf destroys everything in here so if it's false it's the same as having an empty block here or rather even not having this paragraph at all. But yeah, um, this will be it. Uh, I think this is a, pretty much uh, covers the core functionality of Vue. And in the coming episodes, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper into the JavaScript development environment and how to use the Node Package Manager, Webpack, and all the other good stuff. If you have any questions, leave comments. Uh, if you'd like me to go in depth a little bit more of certain core functionality, I can explaining certain caveats and features like you know the, the intricate stuff but other than that this is pretty much the core functionality and without rambling on for too long let's continue